Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So, guys, here I have brought you a session. Actually, uh, many students don't know when to start the preparation for ES examination. So, here is the session for you guys to know when to start or when to begin with your ESC preparation. Okay. Should you start from the first year of college or after graduation or during post-graduation or can you start your ESU preparation along with jobs? So we have different various classifications that during college or during post-graduation or during your job time can you start your ESU preparation. So we'll talk all about that in today's session. We'll keep it short and crisp but I'll answer all your queries and all the things I'll tell you when to start the preparation. So guys, let's start the session. And uh, before that, if you don't know about me, you can go through my profile. And next for further upcoming classes, you can join my Telegram group. And now let's start with the session. Now, coming to the right time to start your ESC preparation. When is this the time that you should start your ESC preparation? So I'll cater all the groups. First of all, I'll cater those students who are who are for the college going one. But before that, quickly, I guess you already know the syllabus, the pattern, but I'll discuss you with you all quite quickly. First of all, you know that there is stage one in which you have two paper. Paper one is of 200 marks. In this, you have general awareness portion and all of those. Paper two is technical, which is of 300 marks. This comprises of stage one. You clear stage one, then you will proceed for stage two, which is purely conventional and it is purely technical. So you have two paper here, <clears throat> paper one, 300 marks and paper two, again of 300 marks, which comprises of 600 marks. The moment you clear stage two, you are eligible for stage three, that is the personal interview and this is of 200 marks. So this is the a long process you can say because like when you give any competitive examinations generally like if you talk about gate or if you talk about JE papers and all. So what happens you just have to give a one single paper and if you are applying for uh, uh, jobs and all for, for PSUs you just have to give interview. So there is nothing sort of the stage two is not there that nothing sort of conventional you have to write it. There is nothing like that. But this is there for ESC. Of course, the power which you have as a civil engineer or as an any engineer, okay, I'm catering all the engineering field which are applicable for ESC. So you don't have to be like, this post is somewhat different from any other post which you have it, okay? So the power, the prestige and all will be different. So that's why you have to work slightly different from all the other examinations. Okay, so this is the whole, uh, you can say stages. Now coming to the one which we have this session for. Best time to start ESC 2024 preparation. So guys, first you should know that your age limit. So lower age limit is 21 years and upper age limit is 30 years. Uh, let me add on to this that 30 years for this is for general category. SC, ST has an age relaxation of 5 years while OBC has an age relaxation of 3 years. Okay, so first of all check it out whether you fall in this range or not in this age range whether you fall in this because if you are a general candidate and if you have exceeded 30 years of age then sorry my friend you can't prepare for this examination. Okay, so this was regarding the age limit. Coming up next is first I'll cater those who are in their graduation phase. Even if you're a first year student, second year student, third year student, fourth year student, this is for everybody. See, the early you start, the better it is. Okay, because if you, as I have taken one of the session regarding it, uh, <clears throat> I'll post the link in this uh, session. In that, I have told you uh, the procedure of promotion so if you want to be a, like a secretary joint secretary so it's better that in a early age you join as an is officer okay jitna jaldi as jitna jaldi aap join karoge utne zade higher level par pahunchne ke aapke chances ho jate okay so the early you join the chances of you to be posted at a higher level as an election uh, joint election body and anywhere else increases okay so now uh, coming further uh, coming further is during graduation if i talk about first in this you have when you are in your graduation 
phase you can say first year second year third year and all those things first is it is it is important that you should create a base so whatever you are studying okay it's not that we are telling you to study extra general awareness and all but right because from the second year we start the core subjects which we are have which will be there for esc syllabus also okay so the core subjects which is there for you guys you make it a priority that your basics should be clear it's not like that you remember a formula or you are able to apply a formula and you are like okay fine it's done no the basics the concepts should be very well clear specifically when you talk about the technical part okay so technical part all the basics and all should be very very clear talking about see generally we have it in our mind we will be eligible when we give it when we will be 21 years of age and right now if i am in second year and also generally you will be 19 years or so so you are like abhi time hai there is more time and then you don't start to take your preparation seriously which is a very wrong thing so if you have started your preparation during the graduation phase what is important is <clears throat> your basic should be clear for sure okay but there should be a sense of seriousness also that fine if you are giving this paper you are damn serious okay this is your goal this is your aim so you are not giving on a, a group b plan or it's like a plan b for you so it's not should be like that you should be very very serious for this examination and it's the final test so whatever you have studied whatever you have retained and whatever you have practiced you have to show it on the final day so what is important if anybody of you who are in this graduation phase i'll advise you specifically if you are a second year or third year students i'll advise you that guys start your preparation good with be good with your basics okay and be serious got this now talking about those students who are in their post graduation phase so those who have opted for me mtech and all those things and they are planning and preparing so first of all now you don't have a, a large number of years to prepare for this examination okay because already you are in post graduation phase and generally we are terrified of taking a drop again so here what you have to do is you should have a solid layout a solid plan of how many subjects you will be covering in how many days and at what month you will be completing the syllabus and start to give the mock test okay so you should have a whole full proof plan of the bifurcation of subjects the duration required to cover it okay so this should be your first plan because you don't have number of years to waste now talking about distractions fine it will be coming see uh, during this phase uh, specifically when you are post graduation so we assume that you are like 23 to 24 years minimum again okay? so what happens there is a family pressure of finding job and uh, you have n number of more pressures okay because it might happen that um, near your ferry ferry other students your friends uh, are being placed and with a handsome salary so it might happen but you have to do what you have to avoid distractions okay they will come genuinely that's very obvious but see telling you to avoid distractions ma'am aapka kya jata you just say it okay and that i know but guys what you have to do is what you have to do is literally distractions will be coming in your way you have to avoid it think about the future like you will be having a reputed and respected post think about that that will kick you to work more hard okay then what happens obviously you have to prepare for the examinations and you have to prepare for the thesis and all for your post graduation but equally important is you have to learn for your esc examination so learn learning things but simultaneously you have to retain them on your head okay and practice and practice wherever you find free time practice and practice okay so if you talk about right time for esc students uh, for esc preparation uh, students and all who are preparing for esc if you are in graduation during graduation second year you can start post graduation right from the first semester okay so right from the first semester of your first semester of your mtech you should start got this and here if you are a second year student uh, for graduation then second year students can start. okay now okay 
talking further we have the jobs uh, job going students also so those who are like uh, those who want to uh, those who are working professionals and all but they have somewhere in their head that uh, they want to prepare for uh, esc examination so nobody can say that job students cannot prepare for esc that's a very wrong misconception even if you are in a job but you are not that much satisfied or if you are not that much contented then also you can switch to esc and yes you can prepare for esc along with jobs but what all things it require it requires this uh, dedication i was saying designation it requires dedication it requires passion it requires compassion compassion passion and dedication so generally i always say this word that um, work is passion but money is motivation that's true but what happens is uh, obviously if you are getting more money as compared to esc but if you are not satisfied if you are not contented with your job or you don't find it very thrilling and you are thinking like uh, although if i'll earn a little less but i think that esc is more secured more stable and i'll be having a better exposure then definitely along with your jobs you can prepare for esc okay talking next here what you can do is because i know that 8 to 9 hours or 10 hours you have to work and it might be possible that your no home is not nearby to the place where you are working so during the mode of travel you can use your travel time okay you might be having weekends generally we have saturday sundays off use that time in these weekends try to cover more and more amount of syllabus okay and use your holidays as well okay so use your travel time because see you have to as compared to a dropper or as compared to a graduating students or a post graduating students they're linked with the work linked with the subjects which they are studying and which they have to give the paper but it might be possible like if you are in a core sector you are working on some projects but conventional portion is missing okay so you have to pick out time like this so you have to use your travel time you have to use holidays use weekends okay then only you will be able to cover your syllabus and if possible like whatever leaves you have it take it on a regular basis so that you are very thorough you have completed your syllabus and you are ready for the examination okay so jobs and studies definitely it can happen and if you think you are not happy with your current job you should prepare for esc because what happens is if your age will pass and somewhere you have it in your mind that uh, i should have prepared for it maybe i should have taken that much of guts and i should have prepared for it so it should have that comes so if you think like you should have so that's not the appropriate it's better that you take the pain now and at least for one year dedicatedly you prepare for this examination okay that is the thing which you have to do now coming up next coming up next we have uh, we have covered like if your graduation post graduation jobs so we have covered that but before doing all of this what is important is know your syllabus so don't jump into esc okay first as i always say before studying for the exam study the exam what this exam wants from you what is the syllabus are you capable of dealing all the syllabus okay so first important is you should know your syllabus okay during this esc preparation and important is basically see if you are a graduating post graduating or a job student i tell you that whatever you study revise it because what happens is otherwise what you have studied and if you don't revise it ultimately after a month or two you start to forget those things so revision 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 is very important so dedicatedly give one one and a half hours minimum for revision on everyday basis and now what happens sometimes you emotional breakdown will happen work breakdown will happen you have uh, lots of pre presentations which you have to give like if you talk basically about uh, post graduations and all you have to give uh, presentations you have to show your work progress you have to show the research papers which you have read so it might be possible that there will be emotional uh, breakdown which will be happening and you will be like no i can't do it it might happen like i can't manage both but you have to stay motivated see listening to some motivational words or any body motivational speaker will motivate you for few hours for a day or two but staying motivated through the entire preparation phase is self motivation okay so definitely when challenges come you start to become more stronger so definitely you have to stay motivated all through this phase and make sure that each and every day you manage your time well i always say to my students 
I plan what I have to do the next day, one day before. What happens is so that I don't waste my next day thinking what I have to do, what I have to do. So that is what I'll advise you also that plan accordingly. Basically, schedule the entire things what you are doing in a day, okay, on daily basis, on weekly basis. So at the end of the time when the examination is coming, you don't panic. Okay, so that's all, guys. That's all. And if you have any doubts, you can just uh, comment in the comment section or you can ask me in my Telegram group. So I hope I have told you. And right now, guys, it's not late. We have paper the next year. So if you start your preparation, we have July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, and we have June also left. Uh, 10 days approximately. So, but we have in January ending and all also. So we have a decent number of time, decent number of months. So if you start your preparation now, it's not late. Provided you manage your time well and you dedicatedly focus on it. So that's all for today, guys. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye and study hard.